the Dora Bill cannot be signed into law without the concurrence of the two houses. Mr. Speaker, is the Senate of Nairobi in order to mislead the country that by us agreeing with the National Assembly, we were failing in our responsibility, and yet we were meeting the constitutional threshold that expects that for Dora to become law, it should need the concurrence of the two houses, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, sir, in conclusion on this point of order, I'm tired and sick of new senators in this house giving the impression that we don't know what we are doing, we are not up to the task. We have worked, Mr. Speaker, and we want our constituents to appreciate as much. I don't earn a free salary. Senator Boni. Uh, if I had Senator Sifuna make his comments, this is what he said that the Senate adopted the figure as passed by the National Assembly. So there was concurrence of the figure between the two houses, which is factual. So I don't see why then there is a big problem there, Senator Boni. The two houses concurred that the figure to increase by the 15 billion from last year's uh, uh, allocation. Where is the problem here? Senator Sifuna, proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want the conscience of all of us to eat as in our sleep and in our waking for the decisions that we take on this floor, Mr. Speaker. And I am happy and I will not tire to remind that in fact, Mr. Speaker, there is a second limb to the facts that we have alluded to here, that our own committee, our own committee on finance and budget, on the advice of the Commission of Revenue Allocation, did propose to this House that instead of the 385 given by the National Assembly, we as a Senate should go with the figure of 407. That is also a fact. That question of 407 or 385 was put to us as a Senate, as a House, as individual Senators elected to get every single coin we can for our counties. 22 of my colleagues, whose conscience you can see is knowing at them, voted against 407 billion shillings. Let their conscience eat them until the day that I die. But you will not run away from a vote that you took. Nobody forced you to vote in that particular what, what matter. What is the point of order, Senator Chirange? And as you raise your point of order, please. Mr. Make Speaker, sure is it in order? I'm rising Senator under... Senator Chirange, I'm speaking. Okay. As you stand to raise your point of order, please use parliamentary language. Okay. Proceed. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, is it in order, and I rise under standing order 105 and under Article 93 of the Constitution of Kenya, where it defines Parliament as National Assembly and Senate? Is it in order for Senator Sifuna to continue misleading Kenyans by now shifting call posts between 407 and 370, and 370 billion, Mr. Speaker? Yet for us, who have been in this house long enough, Note that it was an increment of 15.3 billion from 370 to 385.3 billion, Mr. Speaker. Is it in order, can Senator Sifuna confirm to the country that there was an increment to allocation to the counties through Dora Bill, Mr. Speaker? Well, Senators, let us stop this hand pecking exercise on these figures. The position is, as Parliament, Senator Eddy. This is the position. The bill that went to the president for assent is a bill of parliament because it was processed in both houses. Yes. And upon uh, being assented to, it became an act of parliament. Yes. Meaning, whatever increment of the monies as compared to last year, is an effort, was a collective decision 
of both houses. That's why it's an act of parliament. I don't know why we are still arguing on these very basic facts. Can you allow Senator Sifuna to conclude his comments in silence, please? And uh, Senator Sifuna, be guided by the chair's observation on that particular matter. I, I thank you, Mr. Speaker. What I know is that I am required to comply with the standing orders in my debate. I have stated matters of fact. If those facts are things you are uncomfortable with, that is your own funeral. But I must state the facts Senator, as I know them. Senator, Mr. Speaker, let me proceed by saying... Senator Sifuna, are you saying if, those, if the chair is uncomfortable with those facts, then the chair should... No, I, I, I'm addressing you because I don't want to address Good. the people so who Senator are in Sifuna, discomfort. Just take yes. your comments. Please. Mr. Speaker... Senator Cherange and Senator Boni, allow the Senator to conclude his comments. You, you, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, if, if, there is, if there is unparliamentary language that I have used, you need to point it out. Senator, I am just saying... Senator yes. Sifuna, Senator Sifuna, indeed you've used unparliamentary language to the extent... Which one? To the extent that you've said for those who voted against, let the conscious it... I think the Hansard will. Mr. Speaker, agree that is with not us. unparliamentary. That is linguistic gymnastics, which I'm allowed to perform I know on this exactly, particular. I know floor. exactly what he's saying. So going forward, going forward, Senator Sifuna, refrain from using unparliamentary. Language. Mr. Speaker, going forward. I am going to find the most flowery language to describe what happened on this house. When the vote for division Can of the revenue Senator was be heard put in silence, Senator Chirenge, proceed. When the vote was put here, you had an option to vote yes, to agree with the committee, Senator, just like we have Senator, been asked Senator under Senator. this particular... Senator, Mr. Speaker, can I please Senator be heard in silence? Please. You've raised your concern. Senator Sifuna, our standing orders provide very clearly on how you should refer to your colleagues. You refer them as honorable senators. There are no people here, there are no guys here. We have honorable senators. I apologize for that, Mr. Speaker. I am going to look for the most flowery language to remind the distinguished senators on the majority side that your conscience will follow you and the decisions that you take on this floor are public. Mr. Speaker, we have another opportunity. There is another report of the Finance Committee here. I would actually not be surprised if people, again, take the decision that they took during the debate on the Division of Revenue Act. I, I, just Mr. Said, Speaker, I have just please. told you, Senator Sifuna, do not use the word people. What? Refer them to honorable senator. That is the requirement of the standing Mr. Mr. Speaker, I am... How I would am, you feel if your colleague refer you as... But I am people. I am people. Mr. Speaker, it is not offensive language. Uh, it is not offensive language to call senator, people people. Senator, order, order, Senator. Senator Sfuna, take your seat. Senator Sfuna, kindly take your seat. Senator Sfuna, you're not going to start a debate with the chair. You know exactly what amounts? It amounts to a disorderly conduct. And the consequences are very clear. You're a person, you're a people. But that is the language that is allowable outside the doors of these chambers. As long as you're in this chamber, you shall refer to your colleagues as honorable senators. Kindly proceed. What is your point of order, Senator Bond? Yes, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, understanding order number 122, and Mr. Speaker, sir, allow me to read that speaks to disorderly conduct. Yes. Number one, B. A senator who declines to retract the use, the use of unparliamentary language or declines to offer apologies despite having been ordered to do so by the speaker is engaged in disorderly conduct. Mr. Speaker, I cannot be voted for by 300,000 people in Kakamega, and Mr. Speaker, I come here and be made a figure of the kind of 
picture that the Honorable Senator for Nairobi is painting. We need to call him on order unless, Mr. Speaker, you want to allow this house to degenerate into a fist fight. If you allow me as a bullfighter, I'll fix him here and now and it will be sorted out. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, sir. Senator, Senator Boni. Senator Boni. Senator Boni. That Senator Mogeni, have your seat. Senator Sifuna, have your seat. Sit down, Senator Sifuna. Senator Boni, that is unparliamentary. You have to withdraw it. Senator Sifuna, when I brought up the issue of how to address his colleagues, he proceeded to withdraw that. He did withdraw, unless you're not keen. Senator Boni, you were doing very well until you brought out your character of bullfighting. Thank Any you. With Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Senator sir. Boni, you cannot, you cannot threaten to fix honorable senators on the floor of this house. <laughs> Kindly proceed to withdraw that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to confirm as I withdraw and apologize to the house that this is not the place to fix him and I would never fix him in this house. But if, if he gives me an opportunity, Mr. Speaker, outside leave this house, there, we cannot Bonnie. allow... Just leave it there. Mr. Speaker, we cannot Senator allow small Bonnie. voice. Senator Boni, have your seat. Now, 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 honorable senators. Order, order, honorable senators. Order, 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 honorable senators. We have such an important order to prosecute before